SpaceX might be in trouble, but that means, but I wanted to go to Mars. Welcome back to the Weekly Roundup. My name is Jack O'Brien. It looks like China is not having the best start to the new year. Well, I mean, technically it's not the new year in China because they're on a different calendar, but that's not the point. The beginning of January has brought about record amounts of smog into Chinese cities such as Beijing. But the real question is why is this happening to China even though they've reduced their pollution over the past couple of years? Well, China is in a different part of the world that has unique weather patterns from parts of the West. And during the past two years, weather patterns from the strong El Nino created unfavorable conditions which trap pollution in a more localized area. China isn't making excuses though and have addressed the need to cut down on their pollution, with coal in particular being the pollutant that they want to reduce the most. And coal will be replaced with new energy sources such as renewables. If you're afraid of Trump's influence on the environment, well, you definitely still should be, but you're not alone. As 630 companies came out with a joint message calling on the president and the Republican-dominated Congress to help in the fight against climate change. I mean, think about it, it'd be the one war on something the Republicans would actually win. The joint message from the company basically says that energy efficiency as well as innovation will increase US competitiveness as well as boost the economy. No way, so like without the environment there wouldn't be an economy? Crazy. But maybe they like the environment more than we think, as the US military has just developed a type of ammo that is biodegradable and then grows into flowers. This is in an effort to reduce the environmental impacts that training rounds have on the environment. Basically, the United States and other countries use a lot of ammo for training, and that does have an impact on the environment when scaled up. So to offset this, ammo has been created that is biodegradable and holds a seed that sprouts months later. This plant can absorb many of the toxins from the bullet as well as converts it into usable energy. And finally, SpaceX might be in trouble? This comes after seeing the company's financial reports from 2011 to 2015, during which the company was apparently struggling in the deep red. This was all caused by the loss of a rocket, which then put the company's contracts months behind. Once the company began consistently putting rockets back out there, they were fine. This spree of good luck, however, was stopped after the explosion of the Falcon 9 back in September. The company's plans for the future show that they are heavily invested in launching satellites into orbit in order to provide internet service across the globe. Pulling this off would land the company some serious cash, which they would use in order to begin missions to Mars. So is SpaceX really in trouble? Well, not necessarily. What this shows is what Musk has already made clear, and is that the company is not in it for money, but to make history. And in order for the company to succeed, they need to be continually landing and completing contracts. So what do you guys think about SpaceX? And do you think they're in trouble? Let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to leave a thumbs up on this video and subscribe for more if you haven't already. We post new videos every Thursday and Saturday. And I'll see you guys in the next one.